Let's start with the Kennedy assassination. After that, immediately following the assassination, Lyndon Johnson was sworn in as president um, on a flight right after um, the the assassination. You see him right there with Jackie Kennedy, and she was still wearing the same jacket that she was wearing uh, when he was assassinated. So even with her husband's blood on her clothes, he was sworn in right there um, on the spot after the assassination. So some of the more memorable pictures, JFK Jr. saluting his father as his coffin goes by. Um, but let's take a look at Lyndon Johnson for a little bit. He had a heart for the poor. He was a man who, who had known poverty himself, kind of grew up in a kind of a, um, with a lesser means, I guess, as far as family goes. Um, he was a teacher too, so I'm sure he ran across students that had been impoverished. And so he was a man who was aware that, that it existed and he was in touch with America in that sort of way. But let's take a look at um, just the way things were in the United States. So in, during the 1960s, what you see is um, about 50 million people would be considered to be in poverty at the time. And so Lyndon Johnson, through his great society, decides, well, we're going to try and eliminate this problem as best we can. And so that's where you get the great society. And we'll look at that in just a moment. Now, Lyndon Johnson had a big personality. You see the pictures where he gets right up in your face. That's called the Johnson treatment. He was a very pushy type of a guy um, from from Texas himself. He um, just had a big personality. And so you see that getting right in people's faces, the Johnson treatment. But what he does when he enters office is he declares this unconditional war on poverty in America. And, and so the way he addressed it was by creating the Office of Economic Opportunity, um, hopefully to, to create more jobs to go in there, tackle in the inner cities, in those rural areas that also need help by um, providing funds to, for those that, that need food and, and, and clothing and those sorts of issues as well. So you see by um, 1964, Lyndon Johnson um, is going to be running for election. So he was put in as president by virtue of Kennedy being assassination. And then the 1964 election, he's running against Barry Goldwater. So let me show you how he does here. Um, he, he wins that election. He wins mostly because people think of him as Ken carry on Kennedy's policies and um, carrying on Kennedy's legacy after the assassination. So Lyndon Johnson tries that through the Great Society, which was the name of his program and um, to, to try and, and fix all of America's issues. So you see, in a lot of ways, this kind of reminds me of the New Deal in the sense that, that you have a whole slew of programs that are going to be passed over the course of about three or four years. Um, Medicare and Medicaid are the biggest ones that I want you to remember as far as the Great Society goes. So you look at Medicare, it can be a little bit tricky to remember, but Medicare, um, health insurance for the elderly through Social Security. So care, think about care for the elderly. Then aid as an aid for those that are in welfare or in poverty. So Medicaid will finance health care for those on welfare or living below the poverty line. And so if you maybe are poor and have a child out of wedlock, um, you won't have to pay full price um, in far as medical bills go um, to have a newborn child birth. So you can see some of the major great society programs here. In class, we focused in on Medicare, Medicaid. Project Head Start, you see that one important even to this very day. Preschool programs for those that are poor. Um, Office of Economic Opportunities talked about this very briefly. Um, oversaw programs to improve life in the inner cities. Job Corps, education, job training program for those that are youth at risk. Water quality and clean air acts. Um, and so we studied just a handful of these things. You just need to be familiar with, with those that are highlighted there. Okay, so this is Project Head Start, just show you some pictures of it. So an opportunity for those families that are in poor uh, inner city areas, maybe those that are in rural areas, also to, to have their children gain an advantage through education. So that's Project Head Start. And then you see that Lyndon Johnson's program, uh, in a lot of ways, people were very excited about it, very happy with it. Um, but a lot of people also criticized it. You're always going to have critical people that will criticize these things and, and people again are looking at, well, is it the federal government's role to be spending all this money, creating all these programs and sinking all these federal funds into uh, these great society programs like Medicare and Medicaid? 
But the thing for Johnson is this. He cares very deeply and he was he cares very deeply about his legacy as president. But you're going to see within the next few years, um, the downside for him is he's not necessarily remembered so much for his great society. He's going to be remembered more for his role in the Vietnam War and escalating that conflict and prolonging that war for years and years and years. And you see that happening within the early Vietnam protest, which you see his uh, his uh, limousine right here uh, being pelted with with paint. All right. That ends the Great Society podcast. Please let me know if you still have any more questions.